are 10 things you should do if you lose your job. Number one, take a financial inventory. List your assets, list your liabilities, and see where you stand. A little tip, when you're factoring in certain values of your assets, use today's values. This is especially important if you purchase real estate that depreciated. We don't want you to bury your head in the sand. We want you to get a grip on actually what's going on. Also, Rudy and I have put together, if you need some help, a free spreadsheet for you. That's available on our website at yourfinancialcoaches.com. Number two, consider rolling over your 401k plan or your 403b plan at your prior employer into a rollover IRA. There's going to be no taxes on this, no penalties on this. You can often reduce your costs, increase your options, and help you implement the strategies that Rudy and I laid out for you in our book, Win in Any Marketplace. Thirdly, talk with your family or talk with your partner. Share these decisions. Listen, get feedback, get everyone on board. Together, you could go ahead and get through this. Fourthly, I want you to evaluate what you buy. Look for patterns and then cut back as you get your budget in line. Five, I want you to find out ways you can reduce your costs. I don't care whether it's something as little as buying coupons, uh, anything you could do to go ahead and help reduce your expenses will get you right back on the right track. Six, file for unemployment benefits. And I want you to do that ASAP. There's a certain waiting period. And if you go ahead and file right now, you could go ahead and get those benefits sooner. Seven, contact other agencies if things get in really dire conditions. If you need food stamps, if you need Medicare, they may have waiting periods. They're also going to ask for receipts and proof of income. Have all your ducks in a row so when you go there, you could get those benefits and get that support that you need sooner rather than later. Tip number eight, whatever you do, Rudy and I do not want you to go ahead and borrow money when you're unemployed. Also, number nine, review the insurance offered by your former employer, whether it's life insurance or health insurance policies. These can still be carried, but often there's small windows that you need to take advantage of and go ahead and make the filings. Now, also, number 10, don't default on your debt. This is one of the worst things you could do. Go talk to your creditor. See if you can refinance. See if you can make interest-only payments. Don't default because you hurt your credit rating once things get stabilized. Make sure you follow the 10 steps we've laid out for you, and we promise you, you'll be back on your feet in no